Hey, I'm back with another video. So today I want to redraw an old piece that I did in an old style that I used to use. I don't use that style anymore. Um, I have updated and transformed my style. So I just wanted to see how the same picture that I drew would look in my new style. So this is the reference that I'm going to be using. She's so beautiful. I'm gonna start off with a sketch. And as usual, my sketches are not very detailed. They are just a guideline to help me paint over the sketch. So I add a layer on top of the sketch and I'm gonna start with my base color. I, I dropped um, the dominant color in the reference picture to use as the skin. So it's a nice rich brown. And I add another layer on top of that, and that is to paint the hair. So I chose a black color and created the shape of the hair. Now I'm gonna go in with the eyebrows, with the facial features. I tend to draw eyebrows first. <laughs> I love drawing them. They're very simple, yet can appear more detailed and even complicated to draw. But if you subscribe to my Patreon on there, I share some tips and a tutorial study sheet on how to draw eyebrows. Right now I'm going in and I'm drawing the lips and I start off with the basic shape. I choose the dominant color and then I just use obviously a reference, the reference that I chose to paint the lips and yeah, luscious. So I'm tweaking her brows. I'm gonna go in and draw the eyelashes. I always start off with the top lash and then I draw the lashes on the top lash. They're usually longer and fuller. And I draw the bottom lash and then I go in and draw the bottom lashes which are usually more spaced out and thinner. Whites of the eyes are usually plain. I leave them plain so the eyes can stand out. For some reason, I started drawing eyes like this and it just stuck. I'll definitely be uploading a video of the first piece that I did in this style and that's when I started drawing eyes like this and yeah, it's, I've just used the same technique over and over again. <laughs> so now I'm drawing the eyes and as you can see, like I said, the iris stands out when the eyes, the whites of the eyes are plain, it just pops. The way I used to draw eyes in my old style was definitely very, very different. I've come a long way. I mean, look at those. Look at them. <laughs> but I love them though. I still do love them. So soulful. Moving on to the hair. So I create a layer on top of the hair layer and add highlight and texture by choosing a lighter color, a gray, and drawing individual strands. I'm trying to draw the top from the reference now. Adding the jewelry. I'm going to finish adding the texture to the top later. I'm going to move on to the skin. So all I'm doing here is picking. I'm color picking from the reference, eye dropping, and then using just a regular brush and plotting the colors. So I pick the color, I eye drop, and then I just layer the colors on top of each other. It's a very simple process because this is... You're building a foundation here. We're gonna blend later. I'm gonna move on to the face. I usually like doing the face on a separate layer. I apply the same technique that I use for the body. I apply to the face. I color pick, I eye drop the color, and I add it to the face. And in that way, I'm building the structure, the texture, and the different skin tones in the face. Right now you'll see me blend out the colors that I have layered to give it a smooth finish. Everything is blended, everything looks like it goes together even though there's so many different tones. And that's the thing about skin is the our natural eye doesn't catch all the tones in our skin. So there's what, it, her skin is a rich brown, it has some red undertones. Her makeup adds a bit of yellow undertones. So there's so much that the eye, the naked eye does not catch. But when you start painting skin, you start picking up on all the small details that um, makes up the skin. I also like using a different layer to paint the makeup. 
because the makeup is very important. If you can see in the reference picture, the makeup is definitely the focal point. So I definitely, I, you know, I made sure to be very detailed when it comes to painting the makeup. So now that I look at this, we're almost done and my style has definitely changed. I have removed the line art that I used to include in my old style. It's much less glowy, it's much less whimsical. My backgrounds are plain in my old style. They used to really be out there. They used to be, you know, what glitters, shine, sparkle and whatnot. But now that I look at my new style, I, you know, I've, I've come quite a long way. <laughs> I'm definitely going for that semi-realistic look going forward. As you can see, my backgrounds are much more plainer. I usually choose one color so the main subject can stand out. And here she is. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my Patreon for tutorials and study sheets. If you want to download and use my work, go check out my Etsy. Bye!